Hello everybody. I uh, just got done playing with a little project that I've been meaning to do for a while and uh, thought I'd share it with you. Of course, I can't show you the process here on the old YouTubes. They, I don't think they would appreciate it very much. Uh, a few weeks back, I got this uh, survival loader kit. Um, it was on eBay. This is their, their logo, the box. Um, comes with a nice sheet of instructions and uh, there's their uh, information and their YouTube link and such. Um, it's two sides with all the description of the parts and pieces and what to do with them. And uh, what it comes down to is you got this tube for um, resizing your, your, your spent brass, <laughs> shot shells, whatever, and uh, tools for decapping, um, a funnel for loading, a nifty uh, crimp starter, little swage tool in case you get a, a bulge in the end and I had all of my uh, other components you know got uh, used little gunpowder I used uh, dippers for one the powder charge and then to just sort of start the uh, the measure of the powder or the uh, shot charge brought it right up to the the crimp line or at least as best as I could um, assess what it was it's uh, I got a sack of number eight shot and I just put them in these to make it a little easier to to deal with I'd gotten those uh, Jedite primers the other day and I'm using these um, little shot cups wads whatever you want to call them um, I don't know exactly what the wait let me see <clears throat> they are clay buster and uh, I can give numbers to anybody else once later so I'm not going to show the whole process but I will show the uh, the results I got some real nice uh, crimps on some uh, some reloaded shells here those were the first two and they came out really pretty good and then my uh, like third or fourth it got a little boogered but it's it's tight I mean it's not going anywhere it'll still shoot and then I practiced a little more got a little better and uh, I got real nice I mean almost factory looking crimps on them and then the last one I got boogered up but you know such is life but uh, if I get a chance to head down to the range here, uh, I'm going to test these out and uh, see how they work. I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased with this. Now this is just the 410 loader. They do make a, a 20 and a 12, I believe. And uh, I mean, they're not super cheap, but they're uh, not any more uh, expensive than trying to buy one of the old Lee loaders for 410. And uh, I considered that, but I didn't want to get something that had been you know, used uh, rough or damaged or anything missing so I got this kit and uh, came with everything I needed and seems to have worked pretty well um, hopefully we'll get to test them out here thanks for watching